كتاب أنزلناه إليك مبارك ليدبروا آياته وليتذكر أولو الألباب السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My brothers, my sisters, all of us want nice things. All of us want something unique sometimes. We want something. Unfortunately or fortunately, Allah Almighty bestows many people with similar things. But you would have a unique gift at times that is shared by very few people. And Allah Almighty knows that. Now, why I say this is it's human nature to want things. Try to protect yourself from being selfish and wanting that goodness for yourself alone. Because one of the qualities Allah wants from the believers is to share what they love the most. You won't achieve true righteousness until you spend from that which you love. That which you love, and at times that which you love the most. You spend from it in order to disconnect from material items and connect with Allah. Reconnect with revelation, subhanAllah. How did you manage to do that? Well, I disconnected from something I was connected to in order to connect to that which I was supposed to be connected to, and that is Allah. So try to share things. Try not to be selfish. Many people are very selfish, men and women. I need this for myself. I want to be known for my uniqueness, and that's it. This, I want to be seen as the only one who has this and the only one who has that. And that's not realizing righteousness is achieved when you share things. It's a difficult one. It's a real hard one. But righteousness is achieved when you share things, including your beautiful recipes, mashallah. <laughs> May Allah Almighty grant us goodness. It just came to my mind. But my brothers, my sisters, there is a story of Suleiman, the Prophet Suleiman, Solomon, may peace be upon him. He used to make some amazing supplications. And he asked Allah one day, he says, Rabbi habli, Rabbi ghfirli, oh Allah forgive me. Oh Allah forgive my shortcomings. And from that we learn, every time you want to connect your supplication to Allah and plug it in, you start off by seeking forgiveness, by sending blessings and salutations of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, seeking forgiveness, praising Allah, and then you ask for your thing. What would you like? So there is a way of starting. And you end off with sending blessings and salutations upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam once again. So the Prophet Sulaiman, he says, Oh Allah, forgive me and grant me kingdom. Give me that which you will not give anyone after me. Something unique. He wants something unique that nobody after that will have. So Allah Almighty answered his prayer. Amazing. Allah gave him the ability to communicate with things and creatures that nobody after him would be able to communicate in the same way. Yes, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has his unique gifts far greater than the Prophet Sulaiman. You know, he used to say, Inni la a'rifu hajaram bi kana yusallimu alay. He's, you know, he was greeted by things around him. He says there was a stone in Makkah, a rock in Makkah that used to greet me. Subhanallah. So the Prophet Sulaiman says, Rabbi ghfirli wa habli mulkan la yambaghi li ahadim min ba'di innaka anta al-wahhab. You are the giver. You are the one who gives gifts. Forgive me and grant me kingdom, control. Nobody after me would deserve to get or would get. So Allah says, فَسَخَّرْنَا لَهُ الْرِيحِ We made him control the winds. We made him communicate and order and instruct the clouds, the winds and so on. We gave it to him for a time. But among his gifts was something unique, something amazing. An entire surah is named as a result of that. What is this surah? It is called Surah to naml the ant, the surah of the ant. That ant was a result of the dua of Sulaiman alayhi salam. He says, oh Allah, give me what, you've not, what you're not going to give anyone after me. And uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him the ability to speak 
and to communicate with some of the other creatures, such as the birds and the ants and various other creatures of his. So one day Sulaiman alayhi salam was moving with his army and he got to the valley of the ants. The valley of the ants, amazing. He heard something when he got to the valley of the ants. What happened? Verse number 18 and 19, 19 speak about the story. It says, قالت نملة, One of these ants said, يَا أَيُّهَا النَّمْلُ أُدْخُلُوا مَسَاكِنَكُمْ O oh, ants, O oh, the rest of the ants, enter your homes quickly. لا يحطمنكم سليمان وجنوده وهم لا يشعرون so that Sulaiman and his army do not trample over you while they won't even realize, they won't even notice they're trampling over the ants. When you and I are walking, how many ants have we murdered? How many ants have we trampled over? We don't even know. Allah forgives, Allah will excuse, Allah will not hold that against you because you walked, you didn't even know what was happening. It's okay. And an ant, after all, it's permissible to get rid of these insects and that which is irritating to humankind or harmful in any way. So it's not bad or wrong, but here Allah is showing you the type of gift he gave Sulaiman. May peace be upon him. And if he gave him such a sophisticated gift, that was a prophet. We're not prophets. But he will give us gifts, perhaps less sophisticated, but Allah grants us. And we need to recognize the gift of Allah. So the point here is, Sulaiman heard these ants. When he heard the one ant tell the others, and he heard these ants rushing into their homes, do you know what? He thanked Allah. فَتَبَسَّ مَضَاحِكًا مِنْ قَوْلِهَا He smiled he broke into a smile as laughter to what was being said from the statement of this ant, Waqal. And he made such a beautiful statement that we should all be calling out to Allah with. What did he say? On the one hand, he had already prayed to Allah to grant him from the goodness. And on the other hand, here is him thanking Allah. Qala Rabbi. He said, oh my Lord, oh my Lord, oh my Lord. Subhanallah. Awzi'ni an ashkura ni'matak. Grant me the ability to thank you for the gifts you bestowed upon me. Your ni'mah. Oh Allah, grant me the ability to thank you for the gifts you have bestowed upon me. That is Him speaking. Rabbi awzi'ni an ashkura ni'matak. Allati an'amta alay. That which you have bestowed upon me and upon my parents. Who was His father? His father was the, was the prophet David, Dawood alayhi salam, may peace be upon him. So he says, oh Allah, give me the ability to be thankful. Imagine you're asking Allah, you're not saying, thank you Allah, I thank you for what you've given me. That's one thing. He's saying, give me the ability to show gratitude. By doing what? By obeying your instruction and staying away from your prohibition. By doing as much good as I can while I'm alive. That is called gratitude to Allah. By rendering as much worship as I can, by being kind to the rest of your creatures, by being just and fair, by standing up for what is upright, and by helping those who are downtrodden and oppressed, all that is part of showing gratitude to Allah. So Sulaiman alayhi salam says, give me the ability to be thankful to you for what you bestowed upon me and my father, my parents. Give me the ability to do good deeds that will please you. And grant me entry into, through your mercy, your pious worshippers. Grant me, through your mercy, entry into the circle of those who are your true worshippers, the pious ones. So Ibrahim uh, Sulaiman was a king as well as a prophet. He was given kingdom and he was given prophethood. May Allah Almighty grant us all from his goodness. My brothers and sisters, be thankful to the Almighty 
show gratitude, ask Allah to give you, no problem. But when Allah's given you, learn to thank Allah and call out to Allah with similar prayers that were used by this beautiful Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam. And you can look at Surah An-Naml, verse number 18 onwards, 18 and 19, and inshallah you will see the goodness. May Allah bless us all. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallama wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad. كتاب أنزلناه إليك مبارك ليدبروا آياته وليتذكر أولو الألباب